The ISO is a nonprofit public benefit corporation. As one of the largest grid operators in the world with over 30% renewables interconnected to our grid, we are committed to making data publicly available, which is why we recently redesigned our most visited webpage, Today's Outlook, so we could present near real time data on a variety of areas. Navigate to Today's Outlook by clicking the link on the home page or the navigation link at the top right of every page. Here you will see grid status and system highlights. Grid status will show flex alerts, operational orders, or emergency declarations. Below grid notices are capacity status, current demand, forecasted peak, and available capacity, as well as the historical peak and tomorrow's forecasted peak values. Following these are today's demand and net demand 24-hour graphs that you can roll over the trend lines for current values. Clicking on Yesterday brings up the previous day's results. Under Options, you can overlay today's demand or the forecast of peak, or both. You can also download the graph's data. Now let's move on to the Supply page. Current results are along the top. Current supply and current renewables provide a near real-time percentage and megawatts of each resource in use. Then today's renewables graph demonstrates how RPS resources are performing in a 24-hour rolling trend line, followed by shortcuts to reports with even more granular data. We are pleased to present storage use that shows when batteries are charging and when they're serving load. The price page displays some, but not all, of the 9,500 nodes where power is priced and delivered from in the ISO and Western Energy Imbalance Market areas. The drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner allows sorting by day ahead, 15-minute and real-time prices, as well as toggle between generators in the ISO service area and other EIM entities. Now for the last page, CO2 emissions. Along the top you will see current demand along with current emissions, emission rates, and the reduction in CO2. Next is the current CO2 per resource chart breakdowns. And then after that is today's CO2 graph. Again, we provide links to more detailed information, including the ISO GHG tracking reports and the SB350 studies that found that a regional market would reduce emissions in California and throughout the West. Last is the historical CO2 emissions graph that shows how environmental policies have reduced overall emissions. Compare the gray line for 2014 to the teal line for 2017. We hope this quick walkthrough was useful and we appreciate any feedback. If you have any questions, we welcome those as well.